and welcome back to another do it live tutorial today's tutorial we will be using Adobe Illustrator well I'm not sure how many of you watching this video right now is from the Southeast Asia region well if you are you probably know that right now is the season I mean something is happening which the SEA Games 2017 is happening right here in my country Malaysia in the city of Kuala Lumpur so the reason why I'm not sure I mean I mean why I'm I'm, I'm talking about this is because if you look at the logo you can see that there is some art in there and what we're gonna do today is that I'm gonna show you how to create this logo style in Illustrator so well without further ado let's go back to Illustrator and we will first begin by typing the text I am going to type in Kuala Lumpur let's just put it to a new line Kuala Lumpur 2017 and let's just make the lines closer and let's just make it bigger okay around like that okay if you look at the difference between this text and the actual logo there is actually a huge difference because the typeface the font that I'm using is not the same as what the logo use but it doesn't matter as long as you use a typeface a font that is bold anything that is bold is good enough and the first thing we're gonna do is go to type and create outlines so that we can convert all this text into outlines, into paths so that we can no longer now edit the text and with that, go to your color window and swap the colors swap between the fill and the stroke color so, you, so now that I'm left with only the outlines, black color outlines now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the line tool and I'm going to draw a few 45 degree lines across you can hold down your shift key while dragging the lines so that you get very nice 45 degree lines and make sure you when you cut through the text you cut it through properly okay so that you know you create gaps that is large enough for you to see okay then let's just cut through a bit here cut a bit here oops I think I should cut a bit here across the end and then here like there okay then the line tool over here and I'm going to cut it through here cut through here like that okay so now once you have finished with your lines and you're happy with it Go ahead and take the selection tool and select everything on the stage, on your can, on your artboard. Then go to object, live paint and create and make that live paint group. Okay? Then take your live paint bucket tool which is around that corner. Then your toolbox, select the live paint bucket tool. Then go to your swatches window or your color window and just remove turn off the stroke color turn off the stroke color and the first color I'm going to pick for the fill color and make sure you select the fill color select black color I'm going to select black color and I'm going to color the places that I want it to be black dang 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 like that black black is light literally black 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 and black and then I'm going to pick red color I'm going to color this part red and let's say this part red and then here red no I think the red should be here okay then let's go to um, orange color light orange color should be here and here and probably here and let's go to green color here then here I think it's not this green let's pick another green here here okay and then here and finally blue color here it goes here and then here 
Okay, now once you have finished the coloring process, the whole picture still looks really ugly because it's not yet complete. But what we're going to do next is we are going to extract out the black color outlines from this picture. Okay, so if you look at this picture here, very nice, very clean. Okay, and if we go back here, not nice, very dirty. So select everything, then go to object and choose expand. Make sure you expand everything. And then, once you have expanded it, one time, one time is enough. Go to object and ungroup this whole thing one time. Only one time, ungroup. All right, once you have ungrouped it, deselect and then go and click on any of the lines, select any black color stroke, okay, which will eventually select all the strokes on your logo and go ahead press delete. There you have your very old Sea Games logo. Did I miss out anything? Okay, so that's probably the end of the tutorial and if you think you are good enough, I'm going to give you a challenge. Look at this logo right here. Look at that kite. You see the same pattern, the same lines that were drawn across. If you think you are good enough, I challenge you try this logo and show me the results in the comments below or you can check the link to my Facebook and probably write something like that. So that's the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something. And if there is anything related to Adobe you would like me to try, especially Photoshop and Illustrator, leave your ideas in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Bye!